<laughs> so welcome to the Beyond Cinema studio up here Thank at Sundance, you. Kareen Vanas. Um, firstly, just congratulations on being on working with Guy Matter and he's kind of like this indie, crazy, forward-thinking yep. uh, guy, um, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, where did you meet him for the first time? Actually, um, I he auditioned. Uh, he shot some stuff in Paris with uh, French actors for the film for yeah. the Forbidden Room in uh, Montreal and in New York. Yeah. Uh, so for the Montreal crew, yeah, he was just auditioning, and uh, I threw myself <laughs> in the audition, and I really wanted to, uh, I, I was really hoping to work with him. Um, there are not so many uh, directors like him. Uh, it's very unconventional, um, and it's very, I, I don't know, I, I keep like, I feel like he keeps heading in the same direction. And I mean, in it's own, its own way, like we can really see the thread yeah. of what he's doing, although it's completely crazy, and it's completely out there. Yeah. But you see, yeah, it's his signature, really. So you were involved in the shoot that took place in, in Montreal. Montreal. Yes. Because the shoot that happened in, in France happened actually at the Pompidou Centre, Pompidou, yeah. right? And so in Montreal, was it also in a public setting? It was actually in a very cool, um, um, it's like, um, it's not a really a museum, it's like, a, it's, a, it's called a Phi. Yeah. Um, and actually the producer, one of the producer of the film is actually the owner of that. Space. Uh, art space, oh, cool. uh, really, really cool space in Montreal, and uh, so we shot there. And people were also like at the Pompidou. Um, the audience was just allowed to come in and watch. Um, they probably didn't really understand what we were doing. Yeah, <laughs> but it was really fun. The um, set dressing was just spectacular. I mean, guy, it's one thing, but when you meet his entire crew, uh, they're as passionate as him. They're just so involved in making, like, I don't know, creating this world of. That's an amazing thing. Have you ever had that experience? Like, is that, like, I've never heard of it personally, but someone shooting a movie where they're allowing the public to walk by and through the space where it's not just trying to steal a street shot? Yeah, no, 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 um, no I've never experienced that before. Actually, nothing on this film I've actually experienced before. It's like we were shooting like small portions without really knowing what the entire product would be. Even the storyline, we didn't really know. Do you know what the title card is for where you're? No. Film takes place. No. Your film, your segment. Yes, tell me, because he's seen it, I haven't. That's unfair. <laughs> your film takes place within a pelvis. <laughs> so if you That's what I was talking about. <laughs> so so if, you, if you can imagine seeing a skeleton <laughs> and you see the skeleton of the hip pelvis area. Oh, I can imagine that. I see that all the time. <laughs> totally. So the camera goes inside <laughs> a broken pelvis and that's where your scene takes place. Wow, so many people just bought tickets. Right now. <laughs> I know. So I, that's uh, so cool. Not your usual. That's no, not your and but and, but it's still set in the train, right? Right. Yes. So you go into the pelvis, and there's yeah. train tracks in the pelvis, and then I've all never of heard sudden, pelvis so many times. I know. <laughs> I've never said pelvis so many times. I kind of I want to kind of call it pelvis Presley though. I don't know why. I think he should be like a rock star. Very cool. <laughs> But you go you inside. You go inside the the, the skeleton, pelvis. and then the skeleton disappears. And Kay. there are title cards saying your name. It says Karine Vanas as okay. in the train, and it introduces you guys okay, cool. in your little element, uh, which is super cool. Wow! Uh, and did you? Because what's so? What was very um, interesting also the fact that he um, he did all like he called them. He calls them the séance. Yeah. So it's every day we would. They would start um, the shooting with like a sense of um, spiritism. How do you call those in English? Like spir yeah, the spirits. Yeah. Or like yeah. ghouly sounds, like ghosts. Yeah. So you just call them. So we just had those sessions before yeah, the seances. shoot. Yeah. Seances. Yeah. With and a Ouija he, uh, board or? No, 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 no. no we just naturally. Yeah. No, but yeah, that so that was interesting because basically he's so as you as you know, he's so um, obsessed with um, the silent film era and all those films that just disappeared and yeah. people that films that people will never see. Yeah. So trying to recreate them but in its own way. So I think we're kind of channeling the spirits of these films. Um, talk to me about filming in Quebec because yeah. um, you've made a ton of films there. A lot of them being really highly regarded, award-winning mm -hmm. performances, which made me actually surprising that you had to audition for Guy as well. That. Um, but you know what? That I really don't mind. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes you, it's easy to think, oh, uh, were you offended because you still have to audition? Yeah. I think actually it makes you more confident because when you get the role, you really know that the director wants to hire you. Yeah. And not based on what you've done previously, but based on what he experienced while meeting you. Yeah. Because Quebec is one of those really interesting places where 
a lot of the content that's produced there is for Quebec. It's not for France. Mm -hmm. uh, friend, and people just assume, I think, a lot of the time externally, yeah. especially people who are from Australia, you know, we have this original perception, oh, you must just watch a lot of French content and the yeah. French must watch a lot of Canadian French content, yeah, sure. uh, French Canadian content, and that there's this reciprocity, but it doesn't, it, it isn't doesn't, really. There's this no. whole industry within an industry all by itself. I think that, well, first of all, the culture is so different. Um, and the government backs backs up like the, the entire industry. So uh, TV and film is, um, yeah, the, the government is really is uh, founding everything. So, um, so we create very interesting stuff. Like we have yeah. so many great film directors right now that are working in the States. Uh, yeah. Xavier Dolan, Denis Villeneuve, Jean-Marc Vallée, so the movie Wild, Prisoner. Like it's just yeah. uh, great Spice creative. Club. Yeah, yeah. Um, great uh, creative people. And I think that, um, I don't know, it's like a little incubator of uh, talented people who are just, uh, they just want to create stuff and they're allowed to do it. Yeah. And they're supported while doing it. And TV, they're, we're doing great stuff on TV. So it's, um, yeah, it's, Pretty much its own little bubble, like even, um, yeah, it's difficult to understand. Like people in Canada, non English Canada, don't necessarily know all the Quebec stars. Like, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't translate really. Yeah, it's interesting. And yeah. you're producing a film in Quebec as well? Yeah, I produced my first film in Quebec when I was 21. Yep. A um, movie directed by Denis Villeneuve, who we went to Cannes with it, it was beautiful, uh, called Polytechnic. Yes. Um, so um, I'm really, and then I just produced another one, but th in this new one, I'm not acting in it. Polytechnic, okay. I was part of it, but yeah. this new one. And, um, and is it a narrative or a doc? Or? The new one? Yeah. Uh, it's um, actually, it's based on a graphic novel. Yeah. So it's, it's much more, um, we're targeting families much more than uh, like film festivals and stuff. And it's a very successful graphic novel in Quebec. Actually, I don't know I don't know why the rights were still available, um, but that's great. lucky us, we, we got them. So uh, yeah, it's a beautiful story, great great actors, great uh, characters as well. So. And you get to u utilize the animation studios a little bit as well? No, because it's live action, so yeah. it's based on the graphic but novel. No, like but no like components in between. A little bit at the beginning and at the end. Yep. And the actual, um, the creator of the graphic novel is very involved in the film. So yep. he's, yeah, he did a little stuff at the beginning for the intro and then at the end, but that's it. Cool. And so talk to me about going to the States to shoot on Revenge. The um, same as working with guys. Same with working with guys. Yeah. Super crazy story within. It's <laughs> uh, like a big Russian doll situation. And yes. Yeah. Um, but it's cool. I mean, yeah. it's just so, it's so different to go from one universe to another one. Um, I mean, obviously, doing TV in the States, you don't, like, we change, we have new directors all the time. We have new writers also. Uh, what's so great is that the fans are so passionate yeah. about the show. Uh, and then you kind of have to rely, and that's great because I, come, I started acting when I was 13. And I started in films, um, so you you learn to follow a director's vision. Um, you, I mean, you can rely on yourself, but you basically try to make yourself like fit and understand what he wants, and make sure that you deliver. Um, I feel like when you do TV, you have to you're protecting your character, like you're the one who keeps being there. And when these new directors come, you have to say, uh, yes, uh, you're telling me that, but no, I can't because last week I. I did this, so that doesn't work this week if we do that. So you, you have to be very, very protective of your character. Yeah. So it's a, it's a different experience, but it's, um, it's that kind of live connection with the audience. It's interesting. Yeah. And have you been shooting in North Carolina or just in Manhattan Beach? Or? Uh, we've been shooting in, yeah, in Manhattan Beach in yeah. LA. Yeah. And so do you live in, Man in LA for a while? Yeah, 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 I live. Yeah, so it's my second season on the show right yeah. now. And I was on a show called Pan Am uh, before, so that we shot in New York. With and Christina then, Ricci. Yes, and Margot Robbie. Yes. And, um, and yeah, so Revenge, yeah, we shoot everything in Los Angeles. And it, it's 22, 23 episodes a year. So yeah. I still say that I work in LA, but I live in LA nine months out of the year. So I guess yeah. that I kind of live in LA as well. And Very cool. And in terms of um, mentorship, like in terms of people that have, because you said you started when you were 13. Yeah. yeah. So, and you seem relatively sane still so you must have had a few kind of good voices <laughs> guiding you along the way yeah, really, um really good. and and so who are those kind of people i think that it made a difference that i the fact that i started in films in canada not doing tv i did a little tv when i was younger but yeah. um working with directors uh, really good ones i i mean i mentioned Denis Villeneuve, but the other ones i don't think you would necessarily know them but just the fact that i i got to be on set and uh, watch them and be quiet and just learn um by just being there and um, not feeling the pressure of the audience and the numbers and you know I feel like TV you have to 
people are talking about numbers and stuff. When you're in films, you just think about creating the right thing and just yeah. heading in the right direction. So, um, but who would be my mentors? I mean, sometimes you don't need to work with them. Like yeah. I'm just uh, looking up to Sarah Polly so much, um, a fellow Canadian actor, director. Yeah. Uh, I just love her entire career. I think she, uh, she seems very sane too, so it's good. Um, so yes, yeah, so sometimes you don't need to um, yeah, work with them or yeah, work alongside them to just know already that, okay, you can work in that industry and still be that person. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in and spending a couple of minutes with us. It was a pleasure. And congratulations on the film that you're yet to see. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Very. Pelvis, pelvis, pelvis. Yes. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>